Welcome everyone to English Worship Open for Everybody. Last week was my holiday, I couldn't come, but today we'll finish up 1 Peter chapter 5. Today is August 8, 2021. We'll look at the final part of 1 Peter, verses 12 through 14 of chapter 5. Today's title is Peace is to stay strong in the Lord. From basic Christian training, I'd like to read chapter 2. There is no true happiness on earth, but the believers of Jesus can live a real happy life in Him. Question 2 1. The Bible says to the people of Israel that they were blessed. Why were the people of Israel blessed? Blessed are you, O Israel, who is like you, O people saved by the Lord. He is a shield and helper, and a glorious sword. Your enemies will cower before you, and you will trample down their high places. The view. But not only God himself delivered the people of Israel from about 400 years of bondage in Egypt, but also he is their shield and helper. And the glorious sword. Shield represents protection, and the glorious sword represents victory. Let us pray for the persecuted churches worldwide, North Korea, Afghanistan, and Somalia, and all rich people groups in India, Pakistan, China, and Bangladesh. As you look at the key trends, violence against Christians rise dramatically in sub Saharan Africa including Nigeria, Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Mozambique. I also pray for unrich people groups according to Joshua Project 2018. We should pray for India. We need to bless India because there are lots of people who does know who don't who don't know God and confess their faith in God. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Father God, you told your people that you prepare people's heart to believe in Jesus Christ. It's not a power of wisdom or a strategy to bring people to faith. It's only your bountiful grace that allow people to believe in you and come to faith and enjoy the salvation. Father God, Bring your salvation upon the land of India, China, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh. Father God, let them know God in Japan, Indonesia. Let them be blessed in Morocco, Algeria, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey. Lord, especially pray and ask your help and grace upon the subcontinent of India. Father God, there is violence going on upon the sub-Saharan countries, including Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Mozambique. Lord, have mercy on them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We can do pray for the situation in India with Delta variant and also black fungus and political stability in Myanmar and heat waves and condo building collapse in America, Florida, and also Nepal, the landslide and flood. Not only that, there's a flood in China and also a heat wave and coronavirus is still rampant in all over the world. Let's pray for that. And this China and India on the right. And our record breaking pressure cooker heat wave hits. Canada and nor US Northwest. And a situation in 
Tokyo. There's Olympic going on, but the strong opposition and many stories have been produced. Let's pray. Father God, there has been so much concern and worries, especially for Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And still there's big opposition and protests against this global event. And Father God, safeguard all the players and staff and people who help in this international event. And also have mercy on the people of Japan who are suffering from unimaginable upsurge and upkeep of the caseload of confirmed cases. Father God, and have mercy on the situation in India, suffering from not only coronavirus, Delta variant, and also black fungus and economic turn down, downturn and also situations in China and America and Canada are going through the pressure cooker heat wave and also flood. And there are many other countries who are suffering from many different cases and stories. Father, have mercy on them. As we know, as we see, as we encounter the news on the TV or media, let us pray, let our hearts be gathered to bless them and pray for them. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. And let's pray for the Carbon Fest campaign worldwide. Last month was Plastic Free July internationally. And also, as you watch Seek Spiracy in Net. Netflix original document and you can know more about the bottom of this issue and also for this week we can use more of glass and stainless container rather than the single use container you can use coffee or jam bottle or glass bottle reuse and repurpose and let's unite our church and family to pray for all these prayers for persecuted church and all its people groups and situations globally. Let's pray. Let's pray together. God, the word is going down to the Anthropocene. Ever since we heard about carbon and the use of that propelled by coal energy resources, Father God, let us open our eyes to see and protect what you have given us to take care of. Father God, let us hold hands and cooperate each other for this global agenda. Father God, also we pray for all the churches and families to be united for the prayers, global prayers that we can do. Oh God, let our hearts open to Bless and pray for all the people, our brothers and sisters in the world. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. Today's scripture is from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 12 to 14. I read from verse 12. Silas has helped me to write this short letter to you. I know that he continues to trust Christ well. I have written to you because I want you to be strong. I have told you how God is kind to us and he helps us. This is God's true message to you, so continue to believe it and be strong. 13. The believers here in Babylon say hello to you. God has chosen them as his people, together with you. Mark, who is like my son, also says hello to you. When you meet, kiss each other as Christian brothers and sisters, I pray for all of you who belong to Christ. I pray that God will give you peace in your minds. As finishing up this epistle, Apostle Peter focuses on this remark by saying, Be strong. If we continue something without giving up, that means we are strong. How can we make others strong? By helping others or encouraging them to continue what they wanted to finish. So, if we care about each other, we know what they want and they really wanted to finish so that we can encourage them to continue. Verse 13. Here's the expression that I noted is chosen together with you. So we share our identity with Christian brothers and sisters worldwide. We are not alone. It's not works or qualifications, but we are individually chosen by God. It's not from us, but from God. That's what it means with the word chosen. So we can say, I am not alone because I belong to God. God is with me. Not only that, I'm not isolated from people because God brought me into his global prayer, global family, rather. In verse 13, I found out that Mark is like my son. We only remember and respect Apostle Paul alone the one person, but he hadn't been alone in his ministry. He's always with other co-workers and fellow Christians and helper and supporters. From this expression, I, as I ask myself, do I have anyone that I may call my children? I feel so much ashamed. Is there anyone that I can say, oh, so and so, who is my son? who is like my son. So this is a prayer, my prayer. Lord, send me people that I can work with and that I can share my life with. Verse 14, the final part. Meet and kiss each other as Christian brothers and sisters. So don't get me long, get me wrong or this part misunderstood this is not about an erotic way of affection rather it's about very deep dedication and intimate fellowship under the name of Jesus Christ it's deplorable that contemporary Christian fellowship is far away from this sacrificial devotion and faithful fellowship as we see in the Bible the final words of this piece is like this peace in your minds. There could be hundreds of necessities that this elder Peter could pray and ask God for the spins of his letters. As his conclusion, Apostle Peter said what Jesus said when they met together again after the resurrection at the Sea of Galilee. Jesus said, Peace unto you. Peace is what was called upon when there was 
a thundering storm at night, and every disciple was terrified and shuddered. And then Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Peace be with you. It is I. Peace was declared when Mary Magdalene came all the way up to the empty tomb and took risen Lord as a gardener and was shocked to find out that's no other than Jesus. So we can apply from today's message, find your strength in risen Lord. A wonderful God is united with us through the blood of Jesus Christ. With the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our reconciliation was achieved. Not only that, but also our relationship with others is completely renewed. More surprising, that's not any one-time efficacy. That can be replicated over and over again without ends. Therefore, under all circumstances, we can go near to God for renewal and healing. Our strength is only in the Lord so that we can stop searching and wondering for nothing. Now, turn back to God and find your strength. It's not your strength. Your strength is from the Lord. He is our soul and ultimate resource of life and hope. Today's open door is prayer for the persecuted. His title, A Woman of Faith. Last year, we introduced you to Kirti, a Christian mother in India, whose husband was killed for his faith. After healing in a safe house, Kirti returned to the village where her husband was killed to share Christ's love. In a recent visit with our partners, she shared, I am illiterate, but whatever I hear from the Bible, I am sharing to others. Most of the people in my village come to me for prayer for their illnesses. I pray for them and God heals them. I am still persecuted by some people from my village, but now I do not fear. God is with me. Amen. Amen. Please pray for my children's education and their needs, Kirti asks. Okay, let's pray together for the situations in India and the family of Kirti. As you read, she's a Christian mother in India whose husband was killed for his faith. She's alone to take care of her children. Let's bless her. Let's pray for the situation in India. And not only that, let's pray that we can find our strength in risen Lord. Let's pray. Father God, we give thanks to you for your wonderful love and peace. Today we pray that you are the power, you are the strength and hope that we can depend on. Oh God, 
at Morrisonos and be with us when we go ahead and pray for the world and also situations in India and the family of Kirti. Oh Father God, show your wonderful love to us. Oh God, yes, there's power in the blood of Jesus. And let us find our power and strength in you. Let us be renewed with our identity as you see God and as you see our fellow Christians. Oh God, give strength and grace upon everyone who joined this worship. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and love of Father God and fellowship of the Holy Spirit upon all the people from far, near and far, who can find strength in the risen Lord from now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining today's worship service. And sorry about some uh, malfunction of technical problems. And hope to see you again next week. And may your life be blessed with the Lord. Thank you.